So I'm gonna talk about a powerful tool inside of Photoshop called Actions. So if you go to Window and open up the Actions window here, there may be some default actions that Photoshop gives you. So I've set up a photo class demo here. I'll show you how I did that. Go down here, create a new folder. So you can create different action sets if you want. So I'm gonna do photo class two. So you can see that now I can organize my actions inside of folders if I want to. So if I wanna start a new action, I just go to this icon right here, click that, and I start a new action. And I'm gonna call this graveyard. And then you just hit record. So now Photoshop is going to record everything that I do. For instance, if I wanna make a copy of this background layer, it will record that. So if I go Command or Control J, duplicate that, you can see up here it corresponded and recorded that I duplicated a layer. Now I can go down and start making adjustments. So I'm gonna to go to the levels. So you can see here it's recorded the adjustment layer. Now if I wanna adjust that opacity, it should record the opacity change. So there you go, set current layer and then it's done the opacity to 60. So, so if you decide to mask out the image, Photoshop will not record that in the action. So it won't record masking. It will record any adjustments, any opacity things, and any filters you throw on. It will record all of that for you. So I'm gonna make another copy of this. So I'm gonna try image adjustments and shadow highlights. So I'm just gonna go ahead, fast forward the video, make a bunch of adjustments and get back to you when I'm done that. Okay, so I'm happy with how my image looks right now. Um, so I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna shift select all the layers, right click or control click and flatten the image. And then I'm also going to go now file and I'm gonna save that image. And I'm gonna close it. Okay, so after I closed it, I just had to go and find my actions again. So I went to Window, Actions. So after you've flattened it, saved it, closed it, you can stop the recording. So let's go here. I've made a Graveyard Actions Batch folder. So here's my photo that I did all the actions and saved and closed and all that. And here's a bunch of other photos that I took. So I'm gonna open up one of these right now inside of Photoshop. Now if I want to do the exact same thing to here, all I have to do is highlight the action and hit play. All right, so what I've done really quickly is I just label both of these after and before. So if I click on this before one, you can see there it is there. Click on the after and there it is there. So you can see that the action actually played over top of that photo and worked perfectly. And here's a little before on this one and after on that one. So let's say if you have a ton of photos, like 100 or 200 photos that you want to perform the same action over top of, you can do you can actually do a batch automate for your actions inside of a folder. So I'm just gonna drag the after photos outside of the folder because I don't want the action performed over top of them again. So, so drag them off here. So now I have all the photos that are untouched inside of my graveyard actions batch folder here. So here's how you do a batch automate with actions. You go up to file, automate, and batch. You have the set selected, you have the action selected, graveyard mood, and now we need to select our source folder. Go choose. So here's the source folder, the graveyard action batch, and then hit choose there, and then hit OK. So let's have a look at our photos. Okay, here's a photo. You can see that it pulled out the detail and the playing of the actions worked over top of that. So hopefully this information will speed up your workflow and help you out with your photo editing.